welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have an unboxing. Now, I know, I know, I know. Three Diamond Art Clubs. Holy moly. So, what ended up happening is I ordered two classic Diamond Art Clubs and I ordered one from the new releases. So, we obviously have the new release, the classics. So, we're going to go for the classics first because I've been super excited to see those. So let's get into it, shall we? Hopefully you're having a great day. I'm not even going to tell you what day it is because Lord knows when you'll actually watch this. So in case you're watching it, you know, in the far, far away future, you're not like, this video's old. So now you don't know how relevant the video is. And eh, how about that? Don't go looking at the date. All right. We're going to get the plastic off. Now, these images are a few images that were out of stock that I've been wanting for a while. Um, so, when I got the email that they were back in stock, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get them. So, I got them. So, the first one we're going to look at, we're going to push that one out the way, is Little Red Riding Hood. Now, Little Red Riding Hood is a round with ABs. It's a 40 by 55. I didn't realize it was that small. That's a snack. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at the canvas and drill, shall we? All right. So we have our typical Diamond Art Club toolkit with the heart-shaped wax, the blue pen, the blue squishy to clear. Yeah, y'all y'all really don't care about no toolkit. How many of y'all have 100 toolkits sitting around? And don't act like you don't. We have our canvas and our drills. And you can tell it's old stock because it still has the old paper on there, Little Red Riding Hood 46 2019. That's why I call it DAC Classic. All right. So we'll get into those drills here in a few seconds, but I want to look at this canvas because if you didn't know, one of my favorite uh stories growing up was Little Red Riding Hood. Only because I had, at, when I was little, I had the mentality like M Maggie, where like animals eating people was hilarious. Don't judge me. I, yeah, I was a weird kid. Either way. And as you know, with pork glue and diamond art club, you can always roll it the other way to flatten it. So we're going to take a look at it. Bam! That actually looks pretty cool. All right. So you have the big bad wolf. And then you have Little Red right here. And it looks like she's offering him a snack. Which what she doesn't realize is she's a snack. Anyways. Um, so then we have the trees over here on the side. This canvas has 32 uh, colors. So let's take a look at those. Woo. So it looks like we have the normal symbols. And then we're going to check the symbols on the canvas. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. It looks like a big rat. I'm sorry. That's what it looked like in the thing. Anyway, so let's look at these diamonds. If you can't tell, I'm going to try to get through these quick because there's three of them, folks. There's three of them. No, I didn't give you a crinkle warning. There was barely any crinkle. All right. So, colors. There you go. That's all the colors. So, we have 843. We got some stragglers in there. That's okay. We're going. Eh, eh. AB alert. 129. We got scrambled eggs. We, we got scrambled eggs. Lightly salted. And for those of you who don't know, the AB coating on there, if you look at the two diamonds, you see how one's really sparkly with like a rainbow iridescent sp sparkle and the other one's kind of dull with just a regular sparkle. That's what the AB coating is. I think I should start explaining that more because I do get a lot of people that ask me what AB is because they're new to diamond painting. So there you go. So whenever I open or do an unboxing, I will make sure to try to explain more uh, what AB coating is. And I don't know how many ABs are in here. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, that's okay. I thought it said 939, 938. But I said, that's pretty cool. Those 3371s. My goodness. 3371 is the equivalent. It, it's, I think it's a dark brown. And don't get 3371 and 3771 mixed up. Oh, good gravy. You done that? That's always fun. So this is like a nice small painting that I could get through really quick. Eh, eh, A, B alert. We got, I don't know, what is that? Baby mush? We're going to say sparkly baby mush, I guess, because it's like iridescent and it looks like baby food. It looks like baby peas or something, like when they puree the peas. Take that color. What's in there? Oh, okay, 977 got caught in there. What are you doing over there? They're fraternizing. This is why they say don't date people at work, folks. Yes. Sorry. Y'all know my favorite color is 666, only because I know it, it bothers people. All right. So those are the colors for Little Red Riding Hood. Again, it's a 40 by 55, so it's not huge, which I like because not all images have to be super freaking huge. And this one I might actually do for my son's room since I have yet to do any of the diamond paintings I got for him. I'm in art club. I'm just saying, if you need somebody to work in that factory, I got you. I got you. All right, so I'm going to clean this up quick, and then, oh, there you go. I'm going to clean him up quick, and then I'm going to bring out the next canvas. A little movie magic. All right, so the next canvas is another classic Diamond Art Club, and I believe JoJo's Arts was the artist on the last kit, and he's the artist for this one as well. Uh, this one is actually a complimentary piece to my Soul Keeper. Now, you guys know I'm going to be working on Soul Keeper again here in the next two or three weeks. Um, so, right after I work on Soul Keeper, I would like to try to schedule this one in next, but I can't be sure because you never know what's going to happen. So, this one, one, it has a snowflake design on it. Woo! Woo! All right. So, the next one is a 42 by 52 round with ab's it is night guardian when i first saw this on their website i was going to get it and i kept forgetting to get it i got sidetracked something was like no don't get it yet no so i didn't get it and then when i seen it came back in the stock i jumped so one diamond art club um we're gonna have to have a conversation because this bag just tried to shank me just just going to put that out there. So. And this must be. You, you can tell it's a newer kit because it has this label instead of the label like on the older one. Or the Little Red Riding Hood one. Why did I just put that back in the box? Y'all want to see that at some point. And then here's our canvas in the newspaper uh, thing. I kind of want to save one of these now. Now that they're not going to be doing this bag anymore. It's like a newspaper bag, you know, when you get your newspaper outside. Anyways, don't judge me. All right, let's see if we can get into the bag first, because apparently it wants to put up a fight. So we're going to slide it right off there. All right, so we're going to pull out Becky's paper. Anytime y'all see that blue paper, y'all make sure y'all save those for Becky. She loves them so much. Don't y'all save those peppers for Becky. Don't have her coming after me. All right, so we're going to roll this backwards. You just roll it. So how y'all doing? What you working on? Put that down in the comments. I can't hear you. I, I see you looking up going, oh, I'm working on, on Miss Coffee. You can't hear me. I sure can't hear you, so write it down in the comments. What are you working on at this very moment that you're watching this very video? Is it crochet? Is it coloring? Is it diamond painting? What craft are you working on? Bam! All right, so here it is. Again, it's not huge, which I love. I also love the fact that it has ABs. I also love the fact that it's round. 
Because as you guys know, I've been buying a lot of squares and rounds. I just need rounds in my life right now. Like, I need to put away all the squares. And I just need rounds in my life. Because for those of you who didn't know, round is a shape, okay? So when people say get in shape, say round is a shape. You're welcome. All right. So there's our canvas. It has 20, it only has 27 colors. What? For real? All right, here we go. Let's look at these symbols. I think this has less colors than Soul Keeper. But I really can't wait to work on that Soul Keeper one. I keep pulling it out because I want to work on it so bad. But I want to work on it on my anniversary of my channel, which is... September 11th, surprisingly. I thought it was September 12th, but it's September 11th. So on probably September... Hmm. I probably will start, start it on September 11th. So, yeah, I'll have to go back and look at the videos and see when I actually started it. Because I don't think I actually started it on September 11th. I think I started it, like, later on because I was working on paintings for my dad at the time when I first started my channel. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. So... There's our Night Guardian, and I love the fact that he's coming out of the clouds, and he has the moon, and I'm really hoping the moon is what has the ABs in it. So we're going to take a look at the drill, shall we? No crinkle warning. Nope. Deal with it. Love it. Embrace it. All of it. All the noise. Look, I have children. I can't even hear this half the time, because my children are louder than that, okay? Alright. And I mean, like, in their sleep. So... Let's look at these colors. And you know there's going to be a butt ton of 939s because it's a sky. You guys know I love the sky. Nice muted dark colors in this painting. Because, you know, not everything has to be vibrant and chipper. That's the first set. Hey guys, hey, eh, eh. A B alert. There we go. We got like blue raspberry, A B coated candies. Don't eat these. These are not candies. These are diamonds. Disclaimer: Do not eat your drills, or put them everywhere. Because at this point, I'm getting people messaging me telling me that like their children are finding them in inappropriate places, and they get their kids out of the tub, and they got like drills stuck to them, which is hilarious. But no. Try, try to stay clean, folks. Try to stay clean. And don't eat your grills. If you eat your grills, I'm cool. Eh, eh, AB alert. We got shredded carrots over here in the house. Maybe they got a little brown sugar on them to make them a little sparkly. You know what I'm talking about. Like at Thanksgiving when your mama make those shredded carrots or the little baby carrots and she like boils them in brown sugar and butter and it's the most unhealthiest, delicious thing on the planet. Yeah. You want that recipe? Message me. <laughs> How do you get your kids to eat carrots? Cover them in sugar. All right. Hey, don't steal my parenting tips. Okay, you may borrow my parenting tips. It's for a healthier America. <laughs> Ooh, 318. I so badly want to work on a square. I'm working on a square now, but... I feel like I need more squares in my life. Like, I need to do, like, three squares back-to-back -back so that I can fully appreciate squares again. Because, or rounds, sorry, not squares. Because squares have taken over my life. And I'm okay with this. Did anybody ever wonder what the difference would be in a Diamond Art Club, like a hand-charted image, when it comes to squares and rounds? I wonder if Diamond Art Club be wonder, willing to do that kind of an experiment. But it would have to be something that's not super huge because you don't, you don't want to spend forever and a day on it. Alright. We got, we got the drills. Let's take a look at the drill field since we didn't look at that. Let's come look at the wolf. Or the guardian of the night. He's keeping an eye on you. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's look at these symbols. Symbol's looking pretty good. Does anybody else see that little pink symbol? Kind of looks like a middle finger. 
Bear that I didn't say it looked like the other thing. Anyways, we're going to do a little movie magic, clean this up, and then we're going to bring out the last canvas. Now, the last canvas is actually one of the new releases from last week or the week before last or whenever you're watching this. It was an older release, but I had to get it because I'm a glutton for punishment. So hold on while I perform some movie magic. Movie magic! All right. So this last one, like I said, I'm a glutton for punishment. I can't help it. I love Chuck Pinson, a.k.a. Chuck Norris, because he be whipping out all these diamond paintings, and I'm loving them all. Now, I won't get them all. I'm missing Seize the Day. It wasn't really my cup of tea, to be honest. But, but, this one. This one. This one. All right, so I love lighthouses, and so if he makes one with a lighthouse in it, unfortunately, for anyone who's mad that I get so many Chuck Pinsons, I'm getting it. So, with that said, this one is Cottage by the Sea, and it is heavy, so forgive me for shaking, because I'm usually, I'm using one hand to hold this up, and it's heavy, okay? It's a 74 by 55 with ABs. Obviously, it's a square, because you want that detail. And see, that's the reason why I wonder if Diamond Art Club be willing to do a square versus round uh, comparison with one of their hand-charted kits. Because I wonder what it would look like, not this image, not this image, another image. Um, I wonder what the images would look like square versus round. So, yeah, hold up. That tool kit sounded super heavy. Is there something extra in Oh, yeah, that's right, the tweezers. The, the tweezers. There's, this one has tweezers. Yeah, I don't care. I'm going to put that back in there. All right, so here is the bag of drills. Do you see those drills? Do you see them? Oh. You know you hear angels sing whenever you open a diamond art club. Don't act like I'm the only one. Anyways, here's our gigantic canvas. And now every time I see one of these canvases, I'm like, how many multi-places will I break in the making of this canvas? <laughs> only four multi-places killed during the making of this canvas all right there's the oh whoa 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 what's this what is sorry a piece of plastic came off the side of it like it just tore off okay whatever you know do your thing plastic mm, don't want to stay on there so we're gonna roll it the opposite way well, because, you know, everybody does comparisons of round versus square with, like, AliExpress kits and the double-sided adhesive. But I wonder what a Diamond Art Club hand-charted image would look like. Uh, like So, like, we know what a, a computer-generated chart looks like with round versus square. If you don't, like, Rachel Ray just did one. There's a couple of other YouTubers that have done it. Um, but I would like to talk to Diamond Art Club about doing a round versus square comparison with one of their kits. I just don't know which one. So I wouldn't want it to be super huge because I want to be able to finish it sometime this lifetime. Um, oh, it did come with the sticker, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I would I would like it to be done this lifetime, so I wouldn't want it to be super huge. But, okay. Cottage by the seat. So, sorry, there's something going on with this plastic. Like, what is going on? This was not put on there with the best of care. Or, no, the plastic's super huge on here, that's why. I've never had the plastic covering the symbols before, and over there, it's like... You could tell the plastic was put on there way too big, because it's scalloped. They scalloped the plastic. That's okay. You're not drilling the plastic. Alright, so. Again. Paper. Sticker. Oh, holy crap. It has 43 colors. But isn't it gorgeous? It's so freaking gorgeous. It's so going next to the other one whenever I hang it up. But these are going to be specially framed. So here is the image. Not only does it have a lighthouse, it has a freaking sailboat in it. So you guys knew I had to get it. And of course, as usual, please do know that if you get a Chuck Pinson, the confetti game will be strong. Now it doesn't look too bad now, and that's only because I'm looking at it. I'm not working on it. If I was working on it, I could tell you if it was respectful or disrespectful or somewhere near the middle. So, we have our birds and the lighthouse and our path to get up to the cottage. This essentially, and I haven't showed Mr. Coffee this, but it's funny because when I first seen this image, me and Mr. Coffee talk about when he retires, like, all the time. Because he works in the oil field. He's not going to be able to work in the oil field forever because, you know, he's not a spring chicken. So, 
whenever he retires, this is what we want our retirement home to look like. Like, we want the cottage in the woods. I don't think he knows about the lighthouse, but I want to move to Maine. And he's agreed to move to Maine. So we'll be moving to Maine once all the kids are out of the house. And I want to live, like, next to a lighthouse. We can, I can make a sailboat. Like, I'll figure something out. Even if, like, a, if like a little one. I didn't say how big the sailboat had to be. I just said I want to make one. But sailboat, little out, uh, cottage house over on the, across the water there. Like, this is, like, serenity to me. Like, this just speaks volumes to me. And it's giving me life right now because I just love it so much. So, now let's see the drills. So, if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Or until you see me stop struggling. I know y'all like the disclaimer. I should come with a disclaimer. Miss Coffee, she may not be your cup of tea, but she's always your cup of coffee. All right. So we're just going to... There's a lot. <laughs> There's so many colors. So let's look. And it's not all bright and uh, full of saturation. So I like the fact that it's a little bit muted. Let's look at the drill quality on this. Look at those drills. That's phenomenal. Okay, does this look like chocolate chips to anyone else or am I just hungry? These drills look amazing. And look, I redid my nails so you don't have to look at my gross nails. Isn't it awesome? It's so awesome. And my nails aren't gross. Don't call my nails gross. I do the best I can, okay? I gotta work with what I got. That peachy color is so pretty. I just wish I could do all the paintings all at once, but obviously I can't. So I'm gonna try to work as hard as I can to bust down my stash in between crocheting and uh, coloring. And now that the kids are back in school, uh, I should be able to do that. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it while the kids were in school. There's a couple more colors. It's because I get really sad when my kids are gone. I don't like my kids. I'm, I'm that mom where I don't like my kids to be gone. So to keep my mind occupied while they're at school, I craft. And I wouldn't say it's like loneliness, but I guess it's kind of loneliness. I miss little Maggie coming up and asking me random weird questions and wanting to go outside and play with the ball and then she throws it in the street or hits a car with it and she thinks it's funny. So yeah. So mommy has all this time to party on my craft while they're at school. And eh, eh, AB alert. You got the shredded carrots with the brown sugar and butter again. Look at that. How sparkly that is. 131. What symbol is that? Number two. Which is shocking because it's not on the boat. Number two. Oh, number two is down here in these flowers. Ooh. All right, Diamond Arco. Let's see what you're doing. Ooh, 550. That's such a pretty purple. The, the 550, folks. Not this one. I know that. It's not purple. Waiting for somebody to come. This coffee, that's not purple. I know. It's funny. These. What, what are y'all doing in there? Y'all trying to run away? They were trying to run away. It almost freaks me out how perfect those diamonds are. It literally looks like a bar of chocolate. I don't know if it's just the addiction to chocolate or what. Does that not look like a piece of chocolate? You know it does. You don't got to answer. That's fine. You know, hold up. Oh, okay. And, and, AB alert. 129. 129 is number one. That is in the sailboat. So the scrambled eggs with light salt is in the sailboat. So what do you guys think? Do you, 
do you guys wonder what Diamond Art Club canvases would look like round versus square? Because if you want, I can I can try to talk to them. See what we can do. We can work something out. Maybe we can do like a Halloween pumpkin one. And they can do it round and square. Maybe with some AB or some glow-in-the-dark diamonds. How awesome would it be to have a pumpkin with glow-in-the-dark? And the glow-in-the-dark is the inside of the pumpkin's eyes and mouth. Come on, folks. We got to talk to Diamond Art Club. They listen to us. They know what we want. They're like the Spice Girls. I'm not going to sing it, I promise. Don't tell. Okay, I'm not going to sing it. All right, so I'm going to clean this up, show you the three canvases that I got. And when I come back, I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, folks, so there you have it. All three images, all Diamond Art Club, all awesome. I am a little worried about Home Dude up here because with the darker colors and the shading, I'm wondering if he's going to have... I'm wondering what he's going to look like. I'm not going to say I'm not... I'm wondering if he's going to have any detail. I'm wondering what he's going to look like. Um, and he's smaller, so, like, he might be a little big guy because, you know, like, little dog syndrome. Maybe he's, like, little wolf syndrome. Um, love Night Guardian. I think that one's going to turn out really good. I think obviously Chuck Pinson's going to turn out really good. So I do love the images. So, uh, I do know that Little Red Riding Hood was on sale for like, I want to say like 35 bucks from 40 something. So yeah. So if you like these images, go check them out. I'll of course have all three images linked down below in the description box. Please check the description box because that's where these images came from because I know that I'm going to get at least one or two people that ask me how can they get these kits. You look down in the description box and click the link of the title. So you have Little Red Riding Hood, you have Night Guardian, and then you have Cottage by the Sea by Chuck Pinson. So yes, and I, I do believe those are both JoJo's arts, and I miss him so much. So JoJo, just know your Diamond Painting family loves you, and we miss you, and we, we can't wait to see what you have coming out with Diamond Art Club. So yes, with that said, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down at this point. I don't give a crap. Either way, if you haven't already subscribed and would like to join the madness and see all the random craft videos, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu. But not before reminding you. Always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.